Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the markets. Currently 4.09 p.m. July 27th, 2021, Tuesday. Getting into some major earnings plays right now. Just watched Microsoft drop off quite a bit. AMD's fallen, but it hasn't reported yet, and I have it in my background. Anyway, make sure you subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. Just hit the like button right below. It takes us, like, not even a second, and you can help the channel out that way. Um, I will, I want to do this video now because Apple earnings come out at 430. I was looking to trade Microsoft. I was looking to trade Starbucks, um, SGOC in the after hours and AMD today was quite boring. Once again, we're definitely in the summer trading. Um, and I think today, and I think this week of earnings is really going to be the factor before we make some more legs down or up. Uh, we pulled back quite a bit and then everything kind of rallied so it seems like the buy the dip is happening ahead of schedule uh, versus closing out near lows and opening up tomorrow gapped up i have a feeling we're going to gap down tomorrow i mean with these earnings and everything so it should be interesting to see what happens i'm not going to really worry about that too much so my day was kind of boring i actually made a good move up um and then i took a disney kind of news trade was late on it and then tried it again, and I gave back half my gains on the day. So here's my day. I started the day with AMD, a couple trades in it. And I told myself I was not trading any garbage before 10 o'clock. Um, those initial moves where the algos just suck you in and then flush you out. So, I, you know, stocks like SGOC, INTZ, um, OBSV, stuff like that. I was, you know, RLMD was a sucker play. I thought I heard... A price target. Um, I'll get to Disney after this one. RLMD, where is that thing? RLMD, uh, big mover today. And I thought I heard news. I thought I would make another run up. We saw this in the past. Uh, we got a price target raised to ninety dollars. Um, you can see it here, and it just, I wasn't even small because I knew this thing was like 30, 40 cent spreads, nasty. And this is just fifty shares, and I lost forty three bucks, and I lost a point in a matter of a second. Um, that was real unfortunate for a news play. So my two news plays were Disney and RLMD. And Disney caught me. Uh, we saw the news pretty much pre-market with making its move into the India market uh, for its, uh, what do you call it, Disney Plus service or whatnot, some kind of subscription service. And you can see the volume came in. And I just got the top of the candle. I, I, I saw it like six different times throughout the day. And it just didn't really rotate to make the information or the volume to come in on it. And eventually it did. And I was already too late to the punch. I should have been in real early. And look, it pulled back down here and then eventually made new highs. So it just seems like eventually these stocks do gather steam back up. Of course, the SPY turned up and the markets overall turned up um, but that was unfortunate because i was up like 167 on the day and i gave back you know about 85 bucks on that trade actually those two trades and end of the day with 99 um atvi was another news kind of like there was a there was a strike here at the plant or at the plant but at the company um and that didn't really work out e x e l a i'm not sure what i did there um new qs was a news trade pen was a news trade mrna was a news trade uh tesla was just kind of uh like a breakout move um here flagging and it just didn't go up as far as i thought it would go i know we were down below our you know high of the day and it was a negative day but earnings play i thought maybe we we're going to rally above all the moving averages and i caught a caught a few bucks on that no big deal obsv I'm not really sure what I did on this one. I don't even. I probably even took it off my list because it, was, it turned into such a garbage stock. Uh, through three, yeah, that was it. It was through three. I uh, went like 500 shares right here. Um, this was around 10 o'clock, and it went up 15 cents, but I got like six cents or something like that um, with whatever amount of shares. Boeing was like a news trade that turned into okay, let's not trade it because it's not that bad of news, and I got out real quick for a $12 gain. Uh, ABT has been all over the all over the yard the past couple of weeks with new guidelines for mask wearing. Uh, really made some legs up here. You can see it on the daily, coming down from the low sixes, I guess six seven, and it hit up to almost twelve today. So tough trader, but um, definitely some plays to be had. And then AMD, of course, uh, early trades. It was kind of just like the breakout was just continuing. So I took like the break of the break, um, and I continued up, and I took a quick. Uh, like three or four hundred shares 
got in, got out, got my nine. So I was up like 90 bucks to start my day. I'm like, God, thank you. Um, you know, I'm up to start. I'm not fighting back all day. And I think that helped by not taking any of those garbage trades. Not to mention the markets were down. Not to mention there really wasn't too many garbage trade stocks to trade at the time to crush me. So SGOC is pulling up here. Um, we'll see if it breaks 11. I think it will. And, uh, oh, AMD, I think is reporting as well in the back. I have it on my other screen. But, um, you know, I'll take the $99. I mean, basically, between yesterday and today, I'm kind of flattish. So, or I'm up a little bit between yesterday and today. So hopefully we get through July, finish strong. I really like a good news trade. The Disney, I was really just waiting for it patiently and it never came. We do have Apple earnings at 4.30. Um, I, if this is going to be a situation where we get really good earnings, it pops up and just sells off like Microsoft did. Microsoft popped to 292 and it's sitting at 280 now. So it's down 12 bucks from its high in the afters um you know who knows i mean the market <laughs> it's it's boring to watch um you know but you have to be here if you want to make money in it and you know that's what i'm trying to do i'm just you know managing my risk best i can smaller share size um and just looking for those better setups and avoiding the garbage ones so we'll see what happens with amd here it looks like it's popping pretty good and you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video share the video and come actually md quarter two revenue 3.8 million versus 3.6 million what that's billion right um q2 it's gotta be billion yeah it's billion it's one more million 63 versus 54 and 3.85 versus 3.6 billion guidance um, goes up and Okay, so it looks like they should pop, and they are. I'll put on the afters here. You can see it pop in here. It'll be interesting if it gets above 94. And if we do get to 100, um, the stock has never hit 100, I think. Uh, it came up shy a couple times. And Apple, 150 is a good level, too. If Apple touches 150, if it's going to go through 150 today with news, then it's going to go through 150 with some uh, fervor, we'll call it. Um, but watch AMD here, and we'll see what happens. Have a good night.